Hello my loves, it's Kiana and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, you should definitely hit that subscribe button. I post my videos every single Wednesday. Turn on your post notifications to be notified whenever I post on Wednesdays. I have recently started to collect crystals and really get into crystals. I think they're so fascinating to me. Um, around November um, 2020 is when I actually like really started buying them and up until now I'm still loving them. I'm buying them all the time. It's really bad actually because I feel like I spend most of my money on my crystals, but I just, I love them so much. I am still new to like all this stuff and I'm still trying to like remember all the names and everything. I have a couple books over here. These are the two books that I have and I just um, flagged, I don't know if you can see, but I've just flagged the ones that I have. I think these two books are pretty good for anybody that's really trying to look into it or you know google's another option yeah this is just where i've been gaining all my knowledge from crystal stores that i usually go to are local to my area so they're not like known to be everywhere so i just get all my crystals from local shops i go pretty often now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all my crystals now i have some on this tray over here which i don't know if you can tell but i have some on a tray over there and then on this shelf on this moon shelf i have the rest of my crystals and then I have a couple on this little shelf. So I first want to talk about your chakra. This really cool chakra hanging thing. I hang it like on the side of my bed frame. All of these are just your chakra. So it's all the chakra colors. Chakra colors are all like the rainbow colors. If you want to like meditate with your crystals, a good way to do this is laying down on your bed or on the floor or wherever. Start by putting from your highest chakra to your lowest chakra, but you put them in different places on your body. It depends on the color of the chakra. There's different colors for the chakra and where to place them and different things like that. So yeah, this book really just helps with that. Like, but yeah, I don't know. It's kind of hard to just explain all this because I'm still trying to learn everything. I'm not sure where I got this because my mom got it for me, but I'm pretty sure you can find one of these on Amazon. I'm not going into like my actual crystals. I'm going to talk about this crystal, which is clear quartz. So I wear this on my neck. Um, I just actually got this crystal. It is such a pretty crystal and I love it. Oh, clear quartz are actually really good starter crystals. If you want to start to get crystals, clear quartz is a really good crystal to have. It really amplifies all the other crystals and it charges them. really good to pair with other crystals if you would want to pair like clear quartz with amethyst or clear quartz with rose quartz. This is a really good crystal for your crown chakra. It's just a master healer crystal. It protects you and it also balances your mind, body, and spirit. I think this is a really beautiful crystal to have. It also reminds me of ice. I don't really know. I just I just love crystals. They're so cool. <laughs> Next crystal I have is rose quartz, which I have a lot of. <laughs> so I have a tree that I keep on this Top shelf, rose quartz and amethyst. Actually, like the bottom part is amethyst and then the top of like the trees, like where the leaves would be are rose quartz. Rose quartz is a love crystal. It helps with heartbreak if you're going through a breakup. It also helps you and your significant other's love connect more and be stronger. After you and your significant other have an argument, you can carry rose quartz and hold it in your hand or put it in your pocket. It can help heal the argument, but it also helps with self-love and unconditional love, compassion, and kindness. Pink is my favorite color, so I just, I don't know. I think these are just beautiful. They're like a milky pink, which I love. I actually just bought this crystal kind of recently. This is rose quartz aura or aura rose quartz. I'm not too sure like which one it is but it looks like a bubble to me it really radiates positive energy it's kind of just like rose quartz because i mean it is rose quartz but it is the energy of love it relieves like loneliness and anxiety filled with love and calm energy it's also good for attracting love and a good match for yourself also if you have really bad depression it also helps with relieving it and making you i guess feel better i think this is such a beautiful stone i like more of like the polished ones i like like the raw ones too but i mostly gravitate more towards the nice shiny ones amethyst so oh i almost dropped that Ooh, 
Amethyst is a really popular crystal. It's a really good one to get also if you're just starting out. Very good crystal to just have all around. Like, um, it's really good to put under your pillow. It helps with people who have insomnia or just like if you just have trouble sleeping and you have nightmares and stuff like that. It, you can also carry it in your pocket with you if you are going to go travel somewhere. It helps you have a safe travel on the plane, in a car anywhere it really helps with manifesting which i actually use this crystal to manifest with it would be good to put one of these or one of these under your pillow at night just to help you with sleeping i i used to keep this in my pocket for a little while just because of how flat it is basically the first crystal i feel like everybody always buys when they first buy crystals next crystal i have is tiger's eye i only have one of these though it helps with your overall self it helps with self-love self-expression, self-worth, self-esteem, self-criticism, and manifesting your goals. It's just a really good manifesting stone. It could just help you with if you struggle with issues with yourself or just anything about yourself. Tiger's Eye is a really good crystal to have. So this crystal I'm actually pretty drawn to always wanting. Fluorite. Love the cool colors of it. And um, yeah, fluorite has a lot of different colors that come in many different colors. Fluorite is a really good crystal to use to put on your desk to help you with your homework. You can put, hold it while you're doing homework. Crystal is really good for creativity, for you to be more productive. It helps you focus a lot when you're doing schoolwork. So that's why I use it when I do my homework or something like that. It is really good to put in your workspace. So usually what I do is I get one of my smaller fluorites which is this one it's so tiny it's like really tiny put it like this in my hand and when i'm writing i and i'm doing my homework or something i do it when i do my homework so i found this really cool crystal at one of these crystal shops that i go to by the beach and it is so cool so this is blue lace agate or agite i think it is agate but it is such a pretty stone. I usually buy the stones that mostly call to me. Obviously, that's what you're supposed to do when you go crystal shopping is whichever one you see and you love the most, you just grab it and buy it and then go home and you really understand what it means later. Good for communication, helping those who have difficult being heard by others. I feel like nobody ever listens to you. This is a good stone. If you just need confidence, it brings you calm and peace. It is a really good emotional healing stone. It really just helps you show your feelings and express yourself and express your feelings to communicate with others. Blue quartz. So the reason why I wanted to get this at the store was because it looks like one of those like really cool Chinese like sets that you see. I don't know. I'll put a picture of what I'm talking about right here, but I thought it was really cool. It said like on one of the, like, the cards when I went to go get this crystal, it said something about angel healing and I love angels. So I thought this would be like a really cool one. It's a really good calming crystal, which also helps with negativity. If there's any negative people around you, this is a good stone to have with you. It's an uplifting stone, which can also um, heal depression. So helps with happiness and peace in your life. You can connect with the spiritual communications, but when it connects to it, it connects to the angels on a roll with the blue crystals. But I think this is be my last blue crystal, but this crystal is blue jasper. I really loved the, um, just like the details in this crystal specifically. A lot of blue crystals are, are more calming crystal. So this one is a calming and confidence and courage and strength. It's very calming and an encouraging crystal. It's a very spiritual crystal. But yeah, it's a really good crystal for your mind and just helps with like lifelong long learning of things. Rainbow Moonstone. Oh my goodness, I love this crystal. Like this is probably my second favorite crystal. I think Rainbow Moonstone is so pretty, especially if you put it, if you have it at a certain angle in the light, it really shines a rainbow through and it is so beautiful and i love the black and the white and it really also helps with your inner confidence in yourself balance and hope and creativity in your life compassion it's really supposed to help strengthen intuition in the like your psychic part of your brain so this is my third favorite crystal um this is opalite and it is so pretty the stone of love it really like rewards faithful lovers so if 
you and your partner live in a house together this is a really good stone to have like it's just a really like lovey stone also is supposed to help with like long-lasting relationships and romantic bonds also believed to relieve depression help stay away from anxiety I have black tourmaline which i actually recently just got it's a really good crystal for helping you stay protected and safe of anything so this is a really good thing to carry around in your pocket i like carrying this in my pocket when i'm alone and by myself because i'm a scaredy cat to put in your pocket or keep in your car somewhere under your car seat or like even like hanging from your window that'd be cool like to put like on a necklace or something it also helps with negative energy so if you have a negative friend give this to them or if you have a negative environment like at work or just like negative energy it's really good to just keep with you you want to keep this and put it like basically in between you and a person that's just negative this is like really perfect for that because it just disappears their negative energy one of my favorite all-time favorite crystals i think it's mostly because of the looks but i also love it for them its meaning favorite is rhodonite i am obsessed with the colors on them some crystals of them just two necklaces rhodonite is a really good crystal if you want to let go of something and heartbreak this stone is known for its compassion and emotional balancer it clears away any emotional wounds that you've had in the past or in the present which just heals like emotional shock and panic next one i have is carnelian carnelian is another like really popular crystal it helps with encouraging yourself and it's a really good safety crystal it's a really good determination crystal helping your relationship have more passion in it it just really helps you focus on the present moment and be in the now it's also a protection against yourself and very good energy boost for yourself next crystal i have is emerald Olds. um i this close-up is gonna be so pretty i love the light that i love the teal blue in this emerald is a symbol of truth and love it's like really good stone for intuition so like if you know something's gonna happen it's a really good stone for really i guess amplifying your intuition also helps with your future events and Basically anything that has to do with like your future, I guess. Prosperity, unconditional love, compassion, romance, kindness, forgiveness, manifesting, and just healing any trauma you've had in your life. But yeah, it's a really like romantic and unconditional love of a stone. My next crystal is citrine. I this is also one of my favorites as well citrine is really good for creativity and is really good for manifesting this is the crystal I use all the time for manifesting whenever I want anything um, I really use this crystal a lot to manifest with it it also protects negative energies around you it activates your intuition on anything it really helps you manifest abundance it's good it's really good for helping you bring in money a lot of people like to put a little small citrine like this in their wallet or in their purse to bring more money into their life it's just an all-around a positive really good crystal to have i i honestly i feel like this is the crystal i use maybe the most i think just because of its properties and what it does for you next up is my adventuring or adventuring i got this one for myself on my 19th birthday this year and it is so pretty an angel and i love angels it's a really good crystal for your heart and also for comfort really good for when you're on your phone or your computer or your tv it really like blocks out like the bad um what's it called there's like a name for it but it's like like you know like how you have to wear blue light glasses this is kind of like what that is i guess but helps with nausea so like when you're sick and you like feel like you have to throw up like it helps with that it helps with negative emotions and negative thoughts it helps with your well-being and just overall being calm so so my next stone is Unikite. I got this and I honestly love it. It reminds me of grass, it reminds me of the earth, it reminds me of a watermelon just because of its colors. It's just said to be a stone of vision and opening the third eye. It's a really good balance and grounding stone. It's really good for bringing your spiritual, spiritual out, spiritual out, uh, whoa, spirituality together. That was weird. I just had like a brain fart right there. <laughs> Next stone is 
selenite so selenite is a really popular stone if you get any crystals you should definitely go ahead and pick up selenite as well you can get like a little stick like this and what you do is basically selenite is a really good crystal for charging other crystals so if you put any crystals on top of selenite it is known to charge your other crystals it is a self charging crystal and yeah it's a really good crystal for overall just to have the calming stone it's deep peace and meditation and spiritual work it's just a really good overall crystal it's definitely a crystal if you start collecting crystals you should definitely pick up some selenite i have to hurry up because i my batteries about to die and i have two more crystals left but this is smoky quartz it disappears fear it lifts depression and negativity it brings emotional calmness relieves stress and anxiety crystal for like depression and negative being negative on yourself and just all of that stuff so i also really recommend for everybody to have this if you have like anything with depression so the last crystal that i have to show and actually my very first crystal i ever bought is garnet so this is a really tiny piece it's very small but i got it because garnet is my month of stone so i'm january so garnet is my stone and it's a really good crystal for prosperity and abundance encouraging encouraging gratitude and just like being nice to others and kind to others really deeply spiritual stone love this and it's like the only one i have it's so tiny that is literally all of my crystals that i have i have a lot and it, from the time from september 2022 now february 2021 yeah i have a lot but yeah my camera's literally about to die i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe down below i post my videos every single wednesday and um if you're watching up until this point comment down below what your favorite crystal is or all your favorite crystals just let me know down below and yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys next wednesday bye my loves mm -hmm.